hey guys hi so i'm extremely glad to have with me ritwik uh, ritwik is a top performer uh, he's rank 1 in surgical gastroenterology uh, aims and ess and i am super glad to have him here with us welcome ritwik thank you thank you very much Rit. so how does it feel to be on top man <laughs> uh, i don't know in few days i i still can't believe it and sometimes i don't know, i'm extremely proud of myself <laughs> So yeah, it uh, <laughs> it uh, it keeps bouncing between those two feelings. Great, <laughs> uh, Ritwik. So uh, one question. Yes. Uh, before we you know get into the depth of your preparation and all, I want you to you know talk about yourself. Right? I'm from Telangana, so Varangal, and uh, I did my uh, UG and PG from AIMS New Delhi. Uh, and uh, from the moment I took surgery, uh, I don't know one. thing is that uh, gastro procedures are uh, what you see predominantly as a junior resident and uh, so i those always connected very well with me i i, uh, I loved all those procedures i used to crave to watch uh, all the long procedures with pulls and all and uh, so I, even when i had my gastro rotation also that that interest uh, persisted and there was no other branch uh, that tried to take it away uh, take away my interest away from gastro So yeah, it's been there pretty much since the beginning of my MS, and now I'm happy that I got through. <laughs> Congratulations! So I assume that you're again joining your alma mater in the game. Yeah, yeah, this. I don't. When yeah. did you finish your MS? I finished this uh, July, sir, uh, six months back. So uh, were you working anywhere, or were you preparing? For no, time? no, I took a break. I uh, I took a break to prepare. Great, Ritwik. Uh, so Ritwik, tell us more about your preparation and what resources uh, did you use for? your preparation so uh, my uh, so uh, i gave my exam 6 uh, months back sir and uh, it was horrible i scored only 33 marks i did not even qualify and then i started watching all the topper videos and uh, so dr karthik sir's video is what uh, what uh, caught me and uh, when he gave your video and i thought okay i, I uh, no one else told me about this app so because he mentioned it i downloaded it i uh, saw the app and uh, i was pretty impressed so uh, i took a subscription then i went on with the normal preparation but uh, once i started preparing for gi surgery exclusively in the last two months then the app helped me tremendously uh, the uh, questions were taken from shackleford from bloomgard all the resources and i could not find any other mcq source which uh, was actually uh, dealing with these questions from these textbooks so uh, it helped me uh, uh, build my concepts very much then so this used to be uh, i always used to read the textbook and at the end of the day i uh, tried to finish at least the topics that i read that day using search test so that has been pretty much how i prepared okay great uh, so kadhi you are mentioning about uh, your favorite faculty videos prasanna sir and samrat and venkatesh so uh, very useful uh so uh, dr prasanna sir dr venkatesh sir all these are amazing faculty they teach very well their content is amazing so uh, i i've had uh, absolutely uh, i've always gone back to dr prasanna sir's video um, how he used to teach all those imaging because liver pancreas imaging that's what is was the most important and there was a question this time and there's always question and he used to concentrate on imaging a lot he used to tell each points of those so all those were pretty much very good and the uh, same with uh, venkatesh sir samrat sir everyone all uh, everyone's videos were very good but man so uh, how many hours a day did you prepare um so i uh, i don't i've been telling this number uh, so in the <laughs> i know it's a very cliche question but yeah no uh, the issue the problem with me was that there was a neat exam uh, in september so i did not prepare for gi surgery prior to neat and uh, all my preparation was after neat so i had to put in and i did not read textbooks prior to neat uh, the shackleford and bloomgard so i made a schedule and i had to do pretty much 14 hours approximate all the all the time i was awake uh, pretty much i was studying good yeah. so in, in this generation where instagram and uh, of facebook shorts instagram reels are you know dominating it's very difficult to sustain a uh, continued attention on your books and how do you beat the challenge because i'm also struggling when i want to read something there is always a thing and how the hell do i you know sit down for 2 hours and study 
I think uh, one thing was that I needed it very badly. I so once I knew that uh, I wasn't going to get a good college in NEET, there was no other option, um, and I wanted to get back to AIMS. And I had people who uh, gave me wonderful suggestions. All my seniors, my own seniors from AIMS, people who joined GI surgery department, and all the topper videos. I, I can even name them: Dr. Asher, uh, Dr. Sudhir. All these people are working in GI surgery. Dr. Aman. So I've contacted each one of them i've asked them okay what do i do what do i do so since i've had contact with them they've guided me perfectly okay what all you have to do to get it and i've come i've combined all their suggestions i watched all the resources that are uh, that are an aspirant can possibly do I, I gave all the tests so i don't know i just wanted it very badly and i think i think i think you put it very aptly if you want something really bad it, it, the universe conspires to make it happen i guess yeah and i that, think i think uh, it's, it's is, wonderful that is exactly uh, what happened it it was not just me all my family members all my well wishers everyone wanted uh, me to get it and i guess it's not just me it's <laughs> everyone i'm so uh, glad that you're you know giving credit to your family as well it's it's it's, it's very refreshing to see that and very heartening to see that uh, no, so I, it, I, yeah. I, I don't think anyone can do it without family support. Uh, yeah. They just probably were, would not think of it at the moment, but yeah, it's always there uh, and no one can deny that. Yeah. True. Uh, Ritwik, so one final question before we uh, end this interesting interview. Uh, what speciality of GI surgery kind of interests you or where do you see yourself a few years down the line? What do you, what do you want to be doing? So, uh, liver transplant is pretty exciting, but yeah, it's too grueling. So, uh, I first I want to learn what's there, uh, what all that AIMS has to offer, and then I want to figure out. I think I think that's a very uh, valid and a very apt answer because you know a GI surgery is such an ocean, and uh, exactly there's a lot to learn, a lot to experiment, and it's too early to commit right now. And I think that's wonderful. Uh, I think I think uh, you've been. You've been very articulate. You've been very clear, and I think uh, a lot of juniors are going to follow your footsteps. And thanks for you know uh, motivating our students as well, and thanks for supporting our team. We are a very small surgeon team, and we are extremely glad and delighted to be a part of this journey. So thank no, you so much. No, I, I am I am the one who is extremely glad because I found the app because uh, I not just about the GI surgery, even general surgery also. There were questions based on Sabistan. There were questions. On Sabiston 21st edition, which was I was very happy. Okay, because no other, uh, nowhere where I saw the MCQs, no one offered it such way, and all the questions were very concept based. Like if I uh, solve all the MCQs and then I go back and read that topic and make notes, so it's the same basically. The questions and the notes that I make, they're pretty much covering the entire topic, and I felt so glad that okay, so even if I uh, do the MCQs. If I do not have the time, I'd pretty much cover the topic. It gave me such confidence even in general surgery also. So I, I, I it's really, I should actually uh, thank you for uh, making such a good app and putting all your efforts into it. I'm sure everyone will like it, whoever uh, you visit. Hey, thanks, Ritwik. Thanks, Ritwik. I wish on the behalf of the entire Surgeon's family, I wish uh, you a very, very, very happy, prosperous, successful, and uh, fulfilling life. and <laughs> Just to let you know, we didn't plan to be color coordinated. It just happened, so yeah, yeah, we we we, we are <laughs> as shocked as everyone else. <laughs> hey, see you, Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you.